Hi. If you're a million years old, like me, but you still want a first-rate education, then this is the episode for you. Hi guys, how are you? This is a very special episode because I'm going to tell you about a couple opportunities I just found out about recently. Now I'm going to ask you to bear with me because I'm not going to lie, I have a little bit of a cold. All of these extracurricular activities have got me fatigued and with that, my immune system is shot and I am under the weather. So please, bear with me as I present the opportunities. The first is the Columbia School of General Studies. Now what is the Columbia School of General Studies? If I may. <clears throat> the School of General Studies at Columbia University is the finest liberal arts college in the United States created specifically for returning and non-traditional students seeking a rigorous Ivy League undergraduate education. Full or part-time. This is an amazing opportunity guys because if you're a returning student you would get to go and study at one of the top schools in the country. That means if you if you've been away from school for more than a year, if you if you have work that you can't get away from, if you have a couple of kids who need you but you still want to study at an Ivy League school, this could be your shot. Now you might be asking yourself, is this school for me? And I'm about to answer that with some more questions. Are you a non-traditional student who's excelling academically? Are you a returning student or have you taken at least one year off of school and want to study again? Are you interested in studying in one of the top universities in the United States? And finally, would you like the chance to live and study in New York City? If you've answered yes to any of these, then you may be ready for Columbia University School of General Studies. Another opportunity I'd like to talk to you about is the Eli Whitney program. Now have you ever thought to yourself, boy, wouldn't I like to study at Yale University? Well, that's what I'm here to talk to you about, the Eli Whitney program. Now who is Eli Whitney? Eli Whitney was the inventor of the cotton gin and a Yale alumni. But what was great about Mr. Whitney is that he didn't start studying at Yale until he was about 23 years old, past the age of most Yale students. And that is why we have the Eli Whitney program named after him. This program is for returning students who still want a foot in the door, who still want to be able to go to this prestigious college. Now you may ask yourself, who qualifies for this program? Really, it's just any exceptional student who has spent at least five years off of school for whatever reasons before coming back. It doesn't need to be five continuous years. It could be a year here, a year there. As long as you have five years built up, then you qualify for the Eli Whitney program. Now, why might one want to apply to this program? Because the acceptance rates are going to be just a bit higher than as if you're transferring as a regular transfer student. Now, what are the caveats and addendums? Um, one of them is that as a returning student in the Eli Whitney program, you will be expected to live off campus. You won't be able to live on Yale's campus. I'd say that's a small price to pay in order to get accepted to such a fine school. Both programs are competitive, so here's what you're going to want to have. You're going to want to have glowing letters of recommendation. But what's great about these programs is they don't all have to come from school. After all, you've been away from school for some time. So you can get them from, from your bosses, from your managers. Um, it would help to have at least one from a school official, which is why you might want to consider, if you've been away and have still been away, going to a community college for a little while just to get new transcripts. You will have to fill out a statement of purpose. Now, what is a statement of purpose? A statement of purpose is an essay where you explain to them why you fit into their program and they'll usually give you a, a prompt, a special question that you may have to answer. Also, you're going to want to have your resume as part of the application process. So, to recap, you're going to want to have glowing letters of recommendation. You're going to want to have transcripts from whatever school you've come from. 
you're going to have to fill out a statement of purpose and there may be a few other parts to the application process that you should be ready for. But you're going to be able to find a full list of everything you need on the school's official websites which I will include in the links. These are amazing opportunities and I'm going to touch back on them in future episodes as well as other programs like this and other opportunities. I'd like to thank you guys so much for bearing with me. I know I'm under the weather right now, I'm feeling a little fatigued, but I really felt that, like these were important things to talk about, which is why I didn't push the episodes back at all. Um, I'm going to keep on delivering these episodes on time for as long as possible. Thank you guys for watching. This is the Eager Ivy Leaguer.